Hello, welcome to Curry's for Every Kitchen and I'm Shobha. Today I'm going to show you ever popular chicken tikka masala. And if you ever go to an Indian restaurant in the western world, either whether it be UK or Canada or, or US, chicken tikka masala is very very popular. I'm going to show you how to make that at home in a simple way. You need half a pound to pound of chicken. I took either dark meat here. If you want to, you can either do dark meat, all thighs, or all breast pieces. Because if you combine them, they have a two different cooking temperatures. So, and the breast meat, I mean, the thigh meat stays a little firmer for the spices and all those. So I have here is like four or five chicken thighs and I took the bone out and cut, trimmed off all the skin and fat out. Right now I'm going to marinate this. I have a half a cup of yogurt and to that I'm going to add two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste and I'm going to sprinkle my chicken with a little bit of salt and a little bit of crushed pepper. And in my marinade, um, it's a simple marinade. I got some yogurt. I'm still going to add a little bit of salt to it just to just to give it a taste. And I get my masala daba. To that. I'm going to add a pinch of turmeric, gives you a nice color. And my curry powder, it's a homemade curry powder mixed with cayenne pepper and um, coriander powder and cumin powder. So I'm going to mix that with that. And mix it well and I'm going to marinate the chicken with that and this chicken is like coated with all sides of all sides of chicken is coated with this marinade and I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator anywhere between um, half an hour to an hour if you keep longer it tastes better so I'm going to just cover that with the plastic wrapper and keep it in the refrigerator for an hour or so. Okay, our chicken is marinated for an hour or so. I took it out of the refrigerator and kept it on the counter so I wanted to let it come to the room temperature. While it's coming to the room temperature, let's make the sauce masala part of our chicken tikka masala. I got pan is little bit hot and I'm gonna put one to two tablespoons of just regular vegetable oil. To that I'm gonna add one large onion finely chopped very finely chopped and I'm gonna put on and I, I want this onions to be fried almost to the brown to speed that process, always add a sprinkle of salt to the onions. It draws out all the um, water in it and it, the onions caramelize real fast. Just a sprinkle of it. You don't need a whole lot. So get another pot and I'm going to turn this dough on kind of medium to medium hot to, to char our chicken a little bit. When it is chicken is charred with all these spices and all those, it gives you a nice taste. There you go. Our onions are getting a little bit brown. Just a little long way to go. To 
to that I'm gonna add ginger and garlic paste it's two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste it's around five to six cloves of garlic peeled up and then maybe an inch piece of ginger peeled up both are chopped and minced up in the um, blender very finely into thin thick smooth thick thick I add a less just let maybe a little sprinkle of water when I'm grinding it to this I'm gonna add two pieces of star anise and two bay leaves and like two, two, three, one stick, you know, little broken up pieces into cinnamon and one cardamom. And I'm going to crush the cardamom a little bit so the seeds will be exported to the oil. These are all our aromatic our, our flavors. And to this, I'm going to add a whole can of, 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. I'm going to lower the temperature and let it heads up when you add the tomato sauce. It splatters all over. Sorry about that. Okay, this I got my custard masala dabba. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cayenne powder. Just these are all a quarter teaspoon of it. And a quarter teaspoon of cumin powder, another quarter teaspoon of coriander powder, a pinch of turmeric, and a little bit of garam masala. So that I'm gonna add another palm full of salt salt is to your taste and then I'm going to add half a cup of milk and once I add half a cup of milk mix it well and I'm going to simmer it for six to seven minutes in the low fire okay now we are ready for our chicken I got a dab of butter on a hot pan not too browny and I'm gonna put our chicken in it and once you put the chicken on do not move until it's ready to be moved. It doesn't have to be totally charred but it needs to be totally brown. All sides of it. One side is one side both sides are brown. I'm gonna take the chicken out and cut into pieces and put it into our pot. Okay, our chicken is brown both sides and rested for a while and what I did was with a knife and a fork I cut the chicken into small bite sized pieces. The size of these pieces is entirely up to you. You can. And now I'm going to add this chicken into masala and I'm going to let it simmer for anywhere between 3 to 4 minutes and it's going to be simmer in a slow fire. Okay, our chicken tikka masala is done. Before you say, we can let's go to Indian restaurant. You have your own chicken tikka, chicken tikka, ma, tikka masala, sorry, <laughs> made and in your own home. And I'm serving this with a little bit of rice and grated carrot and paratha. And garnished with little cilantro. There you have it, your chicken tikka masala.